Hi, everyone. Welcome to the second lecture of the third week of Introduction to Causal Inference. Don't forget that if any questions come up in your head throughout the course of the lecture, you can go ahead and leave them down in the comments below, and I'll make sure to get to them pretty quickly. To get this lecture started, remember the identification estimation flowchart. We saw this in week two, that if we start with a causal estimate, we can then turn that into a statistical estimate through the process of identification, and then turn that into an actual number, an estimate, through the process of estimation. But there were a few things missing from this flowchart when we saw it for the first time. For example, we were missing a causal model and data. And importantly, a causal model will be what we're focusing on in this lecture. The reason I have a causal model here is because in order to get from a causal estimate to a statistical estimate, we have to specify our causal assumptions. And we'll often do that in terms of a causal graph. These causal models are what we'll be focusing on in this lecture. Here's the outline of this lecture. We'll start with the do operator, which is something that comes in when we move from statistical quantities to causal quantities. It's absolutely key for causal quantities. Then we'll be moving to the main assumption that underlies the causal models we'll be looking at. This assumption is known as modularity. Next, we'll cover the backdoor adjustment, which is a common way to get from causal estimates to statistical estimates using causal models. And then we'll cover what are called structural causal models. Finally, we'll end the lecture with a concrete example where we estimate an actual causal effect.